In today's Money Watch, Realtor.com has flipped its housing market forecast for the year. The real estate company is now predicting home and rent prices will decline. So for more on this and the potential relief for renters and buyers, let's bring in James Rodriguez. He's a senior real estate reporter for Insider. Good to see you. Thank you for having me. So uh, what's driving this reversal is what some people are calling it in the housing market. So Realtor.com last year actually had one of the more bullish outlooks for both rents and home prices this year. They expected home prices to increase by 5.4%, rents to increase this year by 6.3%. And recently they actually revised that forecast. They're expecting home prices to now drop by 0.6%, rents to fall by 0.9%. Mm. So those are pretty modest decreases, but kind of more in line with what a, a lot of other experts were anticipating. And, and really that tells two stories for the for sale housing market. It shows that the affordability challenges for buyers, the steep rise in mortgage rates over the past year, and also the uh, hesitancy on the part of sellers, or, or rather would-be sellers, to actually list their home on the market because they look around and they see, oh, I have to give up my cushy mortgage rate, and also there's just not a lot of supply on the market right now. So they're hanging tight, and that's just really slowed the housing market down. On the other side, for the rental market, a similar story in terms of affordability challenges. Uh, you know, renters are facing, you know, inflation and, and higher costs across the board. But it's also a really interesting story of supply and this uh, kind of wave of apartment construction this year and next year that's expected to put downward pressure on rents, uh, particularly in markets that have uh, gotten really overheated over the past few years and where we've seen uh, apartment developers, you know, focus a lot of their energy. Really? So, so are we seeing apartment developers sort of playing catch up because they really didn't, there wasn't a lot of growth during the pandemic and are now, are they trying to sort of double up on that? We expect a lot more housing unit or rental units to be available. Yeah, that's, that's exactly right. So actually at the beginning of this year, there were 971,000 apartment units uh, under construction. That's the second highest number on record. And uh, 575,000 of those are expected to be completed this year. And so really, uh, we're looking into the back half of 2023, the first half of 2024. Mm. Um, there's, uh, you know, all those completions are really going to, to add to the supply. And um, we've seen demand lower because of some of those affordability challenges. And so um, what we might see is uh, landlords and property managers having to actually compete to mm. uh, <laughs> either lure in new tenants or retain current tenants. And, and that's something that they really haven't had to do much over the past few years. Wow, so really quickly, because we're running out of time, uh, places where we expect the, expect the rental prices and housing prices to go down. So we've already seen home prices fall uh, significantly in parts of the West, particularly these tech hubs like Denver, Seattle, uh, San Francisco um, that have been impacted by a tougher economy. Yeah. Um, in, in the Midwest and Northeast, we've actually uh, continued to see home prices rise. And so that's the interesting thing is it's not uniform anymore. During the pandemic, we saw um, everyone was kind of reacting to the same forces and home prices were kind of rising across the board. Now it's a lot more local. Yeah. On the rental side, we see uh, you know, places like Phoenix, Austin, Texas, uh, Charlotte, uh, Nashville, places where there's a, a ton of new apartment construction. Those are going to be places, uh, you know, particularly in the high rent downtown areas mm. uh, where renters may see uh, more options, particularly uh, upper and middle rent tiers. Hmm. Get yourself a hot condo. Yeah. Um, James Rodriguez, thank you very Thanks, much. James. Thank you so much.